Okay, we do get again, 1652, good luck. We've not played before, nor had Ted score. Nearly 900 games of Rapid for my opponent, and I've got about 70 odds, so much more experienced. Just going to play the Caro. Okay, keep it traditional. Okay, Knight up. Hmm. Do I want to mix it up? I'm going to mix it up and go G6 early. A little bit less standard theory. Just G6 up, castle. Obviously there is a risk the pawns might fly down the board. So we will just see how my opponent chooses to play this. I'm going to go here. Might just be looking to do this, something along those lines. But um, actually let's develop here and then here and castle I think. Okay, so it's going to be potentially a long grind this game. Knight up to hit the bishop could be useful. No real re retreat squares apart from here, so I might be able to trade my knight for that bishop. If you go here, I can chase it around. It might be able to retreat back, so it might be able to keep it. It's whether my opponent wants to trade it. I'll work hard to try and keep it on the board. I quite like knights myself, mine, so... Hmm, it doesn't really bother me if it's the other way around, but I'm going to get rid of the bishop. So I'm going to develop my bishop with tempo on the queen, and then try and develop the rook. Now again, I've got knight up there to challenge this, but if I do rook first, I think my opponent will probably counter. But otherwise, there is a threat with the knight jumping in. So knight in now, maybe not such a threat. Knight, well maybe it is actually. Knight takes, bishop takes, knight takes, pawn takes, but I should probably drop my bishop back. Hmm. Knight up is a move though. One of them can take. Take with a bishop. The other takes. Pawn up. But if I drop back, the bishop's going to come down here. And I'm not sure what I'm actually aiming for then. Hmm. Yeah, I think I might play queen up here. I'm going to play queen up and let my opponent take if they wish to do that. It removes the opposite coloured bishop's potential as well. Yeah, rook's going to cross, so I probably want rook across as well. Knight up is still a potential move. So I think I'm going to play rook across, make sure I guard this pawn. Knight takes bishop, then obviously queen takes back. Bishop down, I'll probably just ignore it and hope I can just capture back. So we take. So bishop down, I could drop back, but I'd most likely ignore it and try and start working, pushing forward. Okay, well that allows knight forward again. So we've still got the option. We're trying to obviously equalize the position. But I could potentially bring a pawn across. I could even potentially just launch e5 now. If the pawn takes, rook takes, it feels a bit bold, doesn't it? But knight forward is a move. If knight takes, I could take with the pawn. But I, I think I can take with the queen as well, and I don't see any dangerous, dangerous discovery. And if the bishop moves anywhere, I can just grab this pawn. So I think I'm going to actually do that. I've still got the option to take with the pawn here, so let's think about this, but if I go here and say you move down, I can actually just grab a pawn. If you take a bishop, I can take the queen, take, take the rook here, rook here. It all looks playable to me. If yeah, the bishop moves literally anywhere, then I've got the option to grab the pawn, otherwise I'm just going to retreat the queen. And then if I get a move like e6, it feels like I've equalised. Okay, he's gone sensible, pushed the pawn, so it's going to be a tough grind this one. So I'm going to get the queen out of the firing line now, with a view to trying to push in the middle at some point. I may just try a minority side attack on this side, because everything's stacking here. So I guess we just solidify this and hope my queen doesn't get trapped, of course. Some quick attack but right now I've got an escape path actually bishop here yeah bishop there I might have been slightly in bother 
Hmm. I'm going to drop the queen back just so I've definitely got a path out. But I'm going to take with a king, I think, if takes. Take the opportunity to step forward. And now I'm going to launch an attack on the other side. And hope I can solidify this. So we will go here. Maybe bring the rook back. It could be a dangerous attack coming. So I'm going to try and break through on the queen side. And hope I can defend my king in the process. Maybe here and queen up could be an idea. Yeah, queen up. So it feels like to me like I should be coming back here. Otherwise it's going to be really easy just to want the queen wanders off and you just forget about this. So now I can't push up and block there because you just take, so I have to step back. And I've just blundered a pawn. Hmm. Me playing too quickly, being stupid there. It's worth losing a pawn though, it's only a pawn, just take. Take, take, take. Now the other rook across. You can grab another pawn. Oh, he hasn't taken, he hasn't seen it, or he's seen something better. No, I think just queen across and off of the queen trade. Oof, that was a free pawn there. Pawn's playing very well though, going for an attacking setup here. I'd be very pleased to trade the queen off and remove a lot of risk, not all the risk of course. But pawn's playing well and playing at a quick tempo. Hmm. I've got to be a little bit careful here, or a big bit careful. Oh, so he's on with the queen trade, but on his own turn. But I think that's something I should do. And now he's going to try and fly down the board this way. So I'm going to try and break through this side. I don't know. I've got rook forward here, though. That looks very tempting. If you take, I bring a pawn into the center. And now there's a weakness here. I think my opponent's played that a bit too quickly. I thought pawn down might have been very good there. So we want to challenge this break. And we want to then run the king up. But do I just do this immediately? If you go here, take, take, I can try and activate with tempo. So I think f6 is a good move. If takes, then obviously just king up. Try and collect. But if plays f4, I think I can win a pawn by coming around with a check and then up. So it does see that, so I will collect back. Now I'm going to try and build a nice strong centre. Um... Ah, if I go there now, can you simply challenge it though? Maybe. Hmm. Let's go here first. Right, now I'm going to bring the king in to stop this, and I'm going to try and bring the rook back. There's an isolated pawn to him for now. That rook's tied down here, but I'm going to release it by bringing my rook across, I think. So how's the right way to do it? There's no obvious way in. So let's try and fix this pawn structure first. I might be able to plant a rook here and then push a pawn if the king stays here. But the king doesn't have to stay there, of course. But at least just create the idea. But here, here I take. So I'm going to at least create a possibility to push here. So if I check now... King takes take, that doesn't feel any good to me. Now, is it a mistake to push this pawn? I'm going to do it. It might be a mistake locking this side down as well. But if I can do this, though, there's a target. But now, surely I can just come here, because my opponent's got to defend this. So king here, if you come in here, I take. A rook check, I step back. King down. I've got the option to defend or I can try and grab. Okay. Rook back. If that rook wanders off, I've got the option to come here. If rook back, king in. Take. You've still got a rook check. Hmm. I might be able to just step the king up and grab the outer pawn, actually. Hmm. King up, king down, take. Rook check, back, king down. If I guard, it feels good to me, but I might be wrong. I'm going to bring this rook back first and try and come in with the rook. But as soon as I leave this b-file, then my opponent's rook can as well. 
but it feels like I'm better here. But obviously that king can potentially come in. But if I wander my king off here, then there's a counter punch take, there's a check to deflect my king back over. Might be good for me though, might be good for me. Yeah, king's gonna cross. I think I come here now with a view to going here and hitting two pawns. Rook here is a threat though, isn't it, to come here. Mm. I might have to come back, I might have gone wrong. Have I gone wrong already? I have. I'm going to come straight back. If it comes down now, I come back. If you take, I'm crashing through. That's a risk I'm happy to take. If you go back, then I'm probably going to repeat this idea. But I'll try and push next time. I'll take a risk, I think. Getting low on time now. <clears throat> if rook check, obviously, I have to come back. So I don't need to think about that. So now we're kind of committed, unless the rook goes back here. Does go for it, so I'm going for this. Idea is just to free up a pawn. Hold on, can I step forward here? Just to stop that king easily getting forward in a hurry. I want to go here and collect this pawn, because I've got the pawn ready to push. Here, here, oh he's done that. If check, I go here, and you don't have a check next move. You do have a pawn, though, so it's dangerous. But I can maybe try and get behind it. Okay, so have I got time to go here? If I do, and you move your king there, I take with check, say you come here. It's not easy to get behind the pawn. But what if I come here now, and you just attack my rook anywhere? I might be losing. Obviously, I can come back here now, but I can't get get this. Hmm. But this is committal here. Say king down, you leave my rook there. I've got nothing else I can do but sit and do nothing. So rook here. If you push, I take with check. You come down. I come back. You push again. The rook comes down. Your rook comes down, I can't stop it, can I? I think I've blundered this. Oops. I think I've lost this one. I think I've blundered it. Whether my opponent can actually make progress it remains to be seen, but... No easy way to break through. I'll see if you go here, I go back. You go here, I come down. Ooh, that feels like a mistake. I think I come here now. There's no check now, and I'm threatening to take the pawn. King here is a move when I might be able to check, trade, and then play like this. So I can potentially create a pass pawn here if my opponent can't get the rook back to defend it. Very tricky. Now the rook's gone back. But now I think I can check. Oh, actually, can I? Again, check here, take. And I might not be in time to come back. I'm going to go here and threaten to check from behind. If I can trade the rook, I think I can try and push, but I might be lost. So it's pros and cons, risk and reward. I'm kind of committed now. There's not much I can do about it. I can take a risk to grab a pawn. Well, a pawn has done that. But can't I just play a king up now? King up. If you take, I take the rook. If you push, my rook is in time. If you come down, I take the pawn. I think my opponent's blundered, but I might be wrong. If you come down, I grab a pawn, and then I should be just cleanly winning then. I think that's a mistake. And if the king moves forward, I can check from behind, I think. Well, no, if the king comes forward, I can check from behind. You won't be able to guard your rook. That might be the crucial mistake, but we'll see hand off the mouse so I can't do any accidental slips here. Yeah, the rook has moved, so I think I just grab the pawn now. I've got an escape square from the check. And the pawn is now isolated. Doesn't mean I can stop it, but it's easier to stop. And now I might be in time to grab a pawn here and then come back. If I go here, that feels wrong. If I go here, you're going to have to guard your pawn somewhere or other. Okay, but now I think I'm okay to check and grab. 
So I'm going to do it. And now I can definitely come back. So I can even collect the other pawn. I should be winning now. Yeah, so this should be winning. Doesn't mean it is, but should be. I can tuck my king away. So there's no rook check. You've got to guard your pawn, and I can just start marching up the board. My pawn's a bit unlucky there. Just one mistake, and I think that's all it was. So it has to give up the pawn. So now we kick the king back to the back rank. Step forward. We get a good win.